and welcome back to the Ask Johnny channel. Well, last episode's expose of uh, the Illuminati and the ease of which you can join, and not to mention my particular membership of it, has caused a stir. So we're going to touch on that today, and we're also going to touch on uh, robots helping the police forces around the world, and to get into all that stuff, we're going to go straight to Ask Johnny. The amazing drama you're about to see is a matter of human record. You may believe it or not, but the real people who lived this story, they believe it. They know. They took that one step beyond. G'day, Johnny. It's great to be back here for another edition of Ask Johnny. G'day, Johnny. It's remarkable we're still broadcasting, uh, but welcome anyway. <laughs> yeah. All right, Johnny. We've got a letter from Queenie, and Queenie's from Cuba. Hello to everybody in Cuba. Uh, nobody's watching us, but hello anyway. Uh, and Queenie says, Johnny, our police forces are constantly under pressure in this modern age. Do you see any strategy that can make their job easier? Guide us, Johnny, I implore you. Signed, Queenie, kiss, 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 from Cuba. Thanks, Queenie. Johnny, is there any way uh, the uh, Ask Johnny channel can help the world's police forces? Not the cops. The cops. Oh, God, sieges and shit have been going on for years. Uh, just recently, uh, there was a siege somewhere in America, uh, as usual, uh, that was taking place. And before they knew it, there was a naked woman in a golf cart streaking through the uh, lockdown area. Holy shit! Have a look at that! And the police, Johnny, they were there all prepared to do the hard stuff. But the good news is that an individual was arrested and uh, law and order returned to the land. <laughs> she was nude and went straight through the uh, police cordon and uh, proceeded to distract everybody uh, and uh, she went to the pub. Now, that got me thinking. Uh, that could be a little bit like uh, Kevin Costner in Dances With Wolves when he had... Yeah, what a beautiful film. In Dances With Wolves when he had a gut full of the army and the Civil War and everything and he just said, fuck it. And he rode past the enemy lines and... and distracted them so much that the good old, good old Union forces were able to attack the rebels and kick their ass. Christ almighty! I think something like that could be used in policing these days. Right, yeah, you got something there, me boy. We wouldn't have a woman, a real live woman. Uh, robotics have improved so much that it could be a naked robot woman. Robot girls in golf carts. Yeah. Because let's face it, uh, what man, desperate or not, uh, surrounded by police, uh, who wouldn't be distracted by a naked woman on a golf cart? It's only got to be for a few seconds. Just enough to let the cops get in and belt the shit out of him. Holy shit! Have a look at that! Actually, now I'm thinking about it, the golf cart and the robot woman could all be the one sort of unit. It could be sent around uh, deployed at uh, certain siege situations. Kept top secret, of course, because if word got out, well, they'd just say, that's just a bloody robot woman. <laughs> and now I think about it too. Uh, there'll come a time when we won't need real life cops at all, we'll just have robot cops. Uh, perhaps we'll have robot bloody hostage takers. Uh, robot hostage takers taking robot hostages. By Jesus, that'd get complicated, Johnny. Oh Jesus, come on, Johnny. You're better than that. But for now, a nude robot on a golf cart uh, seems our best option. <laughs> Well, Johnny, I'm sure Queenie and the police forces of the world will be very happy with those recommendations. But we've got another letter here, of course, 
And this time it's from Clumpy, and Clumpy's in Chile. Hello to everybody in Chile. Uh, no one's watching us here either, but g'day anyway. Uh, Johnny, Clumpy says, Johnny, our airlines are struggling. Can they do anything service-wise to improve things? Customer service, for instance? Airline executive Johnny will be taking note. God bless you, Clumpy in Chile. Thanks, Clumpy. Good question. Johnny, anything we can do to help the airlines out? The airlines? Don't get me started. Yeah, bloody a minute and a half late and they say, oh no sir, sorry, their flight's gone. And you can see it out the bloody window. Oh, that sounds like bullshit, Johnny. Now, there's a woman somewhere in America again. Uh, Chicago, I think. Uh, she just missed her plane. She and a couple of friends, she just missed her plane. So what did she say? She said there's a bomb on it. It'll have to be delayed. Christ almighty! Now, I'm not advocating you say that sort of bloody stuff uh, because she was arrested. Of course it brought the plane back. I mean, they were just starting to have their meal. I mean, it's a bit like saying when you're back at school that the dog ate your homework. Uh, you know, the teacher would just laugh at that. But if you said, say, to the teacher that um, terrorists broke into the house and killed me mother and raped me father and uh, took off with me homework and uh, shot a few people on the way, I think she'd look at it in an entirely different... Holy shit! Uh, but uh, I think it's the uh, airline's attitude that uh, sort of pushes people to make up such bullshit in the first place. Right, yeah, you got something there, me boy. But I say fuck the airlines, they come out with all these cheap prices now because no one can bloody fly. And you wait, they'll put them up and they'll be just as shitty at that front desk as they always have been. Well, if they were a bit more helpful, you wouldn't have to make up such bullshit in the first place. Johnny, what about the Illuminati? We got a lot of feedback from people uh, wanting to join. After our last episode's expose on the ease of which you can join. The Illuminati, me being a member of the Illuminati, yes, uh, yeah, it caused a ruckus. Yeah, yeah, Johnny, that could be true. And uh, you can join the Illuminati, and I pay 24 bucks a year, and uh, I think it's good value. Uh, it's his own. Okay, your life is your, my life is yours, my life. Holy shit! Have a look at that! Well. But I'm still going to go to the games, and I'm still going to hang out over there on what they call the fourth side. Jesus, have a look at that! Down the hill, there's no bleachers, but you got to go about halfway down to be able to turn, turn back. And uh, as people can see, uh, you can join, uh, you can join the Illuminati. Yeah, the Illuminati, yeah, I've always wanted to join. Now I'm going to contact the Illuminati, and I'm going to see if we can do some uh, sort of Ask Johnny Channel deal for members. For new members, maybe they can get a discount and a t-shirt or some other such bullshit uh, when they go through the Ask Johnny channel to join the Illuminati. <laughs> oh, what did you think of that? Yeah, uh, naked women on golf carts and all that sort of stuff. And you know, a wise man said uh, a naked woman on a golf cart is far more interesting than uh, just about anything else. And I think he was right. Uh, but for now, it's goodbye. Adios from the Ask Johnny channel. We'll be back whether anyone's watching us or not. And until then, it's uh, goodbye from the Ask Johnny channel. <laughs>